Hello, I'm Drunkard Ninja, and this is my walkthrough for Valkyria Chronicles. And in this video, I just wanted to talk about um, the 100% completion I've been uh, mentioning throughout all these videos. And what I mean by that is uh, getting all 20 decorations. And so for this video, I just wanted to go over each one, give you a brief synopsis, uh, what's required in order to get each one of them. And uh, I'm just going to go over them one by one with you, give you the criteria. Uh, prior to shooting this, I didn't actually have them all. This is my, uh, I thought, 100% completion uh, game, but I was actually missing one of the medals. So... Uh, I'm going to go to the decorations menu now, and when you earn all 20 for the first time and go to it, you get this music. Pretty epic, yeah. Uh, I was actually missing number 10 right here, so get those news out of the way. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to go over them one by one with you, uh, tell you what the requirements are. Uh, so this first one here, um, you earn this just by beating Chapter 9, the one where you rescue the princess. Uh, this next one, you get it by beating Chapter 10, uh, the uh, Liberation of Thousand. This one you get by uh, finishing Chapter 14, uh, Showdown Nagyar 2. And this one you get by beating Chapter 15, uh, the second part of it uh, to fell a citadel so these ones you just get by beating the game if you've been following my walkthrough um, you should be uh, you should have beaten the game at this point and uh, started a new game so you should have these four and then probably this uh, next one as well uh, because you get this one savior of Gallia um, by beating the game and starting a new one. Uh, so once you start the new one, if you go uh, to the headquarters, see Cordelia, you should be awarded this one at, at this point in, the, in my walkthrough here. Uh, the sixth one here, Lance of Gallia. Um, you get this one just by killing an enemy ace at any point in the game. So again, if you've been following the walkthrough, we've killed like 20 of them. So should have that one as well at this point. Uh, these next three are uh, Arms of Gallia medals, and you get these by killing uh, a certain number of enemies. So the bronze one, uh, as you can see, uh, you kill 250 enemies. The silver one, you kill 500 enemies. And the golden one, you kill 1,000 enemies. This is just from grinding through the game over and over again. You know, just kill guys, basically. Uh, the tenth one that I had to unlock uh, to even show you, because uh, I never let this happen. This one, um, in some mission somewhere, uh, one of your uh, one of your uh, squad mates um, has to go down in battle and be captured by the enemy. They have to completely die uh, in order to get this one. So, like I said, I hadn't done this before shooting this so what I did is I just picked some character I didn't really like uh, loaded up the first skirmish and just let the enemy kill him and have him die in a position where when the, the enemy took his turn there they would run into him basically because they are not going to go out of their way on that skirmish to do that um, so but yeah you get this one by uh, losing a squad mate completely so um, when you beat the game um, and it does the credits like it'll be like there's a section where it's like lost comrades or something like that and their name will be there at this point uh, but that's how you get the tenth one here the splintered horn uh, the crimson heart uh, you get this one basically by doing the unlocking potentials thing just some some unit gets shot goes down but they don't get captured unlike the splintered horn metal so they, someone just has to go down that's literally it so should have this one at this point uh, the 12th one here order of the golden wings uh, you get this one uh, by leveling all your units to level 20 in the uh, training fields so again you should probably have this one half of these you should have you should have 10 or 11 at this point um, 
if you've been following my walk through here so uh, again yeah all you do is train all your units to level uh, 20 uh, this one here wings of solidarity uh, you get this one by unlocking everyone's full potential so this one is not possible until you start uh, your new game after beating it because you have to unlock Musad, the scout, who doesn't become available until you do that. Uh, you have to unlock the other four hidden ones. I have little videos about that if uh, you don't know how to do that. Um, but you have to unlock all of the characters and then unlock their uh, final personal potential in order to get this decoration. Uh, next one is Excellence and Leadership. Uh, this one you get by learning every order in the game. Uh, about half the orders come from leveling your, all your units to level 20. The other half come from the old man in the uh, War Cemetery. So as long as you get them all from him and uh, level all your units, you should get this one by the end of the game as well. Uh, this medal here, Excellence in Armament, this is one of the harder ones to get um, because you have to unlock all of the weapons. So if you've been following my walkthrough, um, two of the three things, you have to unlock all of the weapons in the R&D lab, and you should have plenty of money for that at least. You also have to get every enemy ace weapon, which if you've been following my walkthrough, uh, I, I show you how to do all that. The other, the third part is you have to get every royal weapon as well. And that's kind of the hardest part because they are kind of randomly assigned. Um, there's five for each unit class there. So there's five rifles, five machine guns, five lances, and five sniper rifles. And um, like I said, they're kind of random when you get them. You get them from certain levels. Um, so the, the, the most basic one, uh, they're all designated 1R. You get those from beating either chapter 10 or 11, and then you randomly get them from uh, Princess Cordelia. Um, the second tier of the royal weapons, they all end in uh, 3R. You get those by beating either uh, level 12, 13, or 14. Uh, the third tier, um, the weapons either end in 10R or 1R and have something in front of them. Uh, those ones you get by beating level 15. Uh, the fourth tier, uh, which either end in 10R or 20R, depending on uh, which weapon, uh, you get those by beating level 16 and 17. And then the highest tier, uh, which all end in either 20R or 30R, um, you get those by beating chapter 18. Um, so at this point, um, we've just started a new game, um, but this playthrough, you can actually replay levels. So uh, as you play it through a second time, you can replay each of those chapters and uh, hopefully get all the weapons in order to unlock this medal. But this is one of the harder ones because of that random factor. It's it, 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 you just have to keep grinding through levels and hopefully get the weapon that you're missing. Uh, you can always check this by going to your squad barracks and checking each unit class, see which ones you've unlocked. And then uh, just, you know, once you've unlocked the one, that's all you need for the metal. Uh, so focus on the levels that I mentioned uh, for the weapons that you don't have. Uh, the uh, next medal here is Excellence in Technology. And uh, this one you get by unlocking all the tank weapons. Um, again, you have to uh, buy all the weapons in the R&D lab. Um, and with the Edelweiss, there's uh, three weapons. You can only equip one at a time, but you have to at least buy each one. And then once you've bought each one, just equip whichever one you want, because you just have to buy them at one time. Uh, and then you also have to unlock uh, the, uh, or get the enemy tank weapons as well. There's, I think there's three all together, if I remember right. No, two. I think there's one for the Shamrock and one for the Edelweiss. I forget, if you've been following a walkthrough, you get them uh, by doing the missions. Um, but that's how you unlock uh, this 16th medal here. 
Uh, for these last four, I'm going to go in reverse order because the last one's kind of big explanation one again. Uh, Metal 20 here, uh, Rangri's Crest of Honor. Uh, you get this one by earning an A rank um, on every mission and every skirmish. Uh, so as I've been mentioning throughout the walkthrough, that's why I've been trying to show you how to do that your first time through. Uh, so once you beat the game, you should have this medal as well. If you played every skirmish on both easy and normal mode. Uh, you don't have to do hard mode, you don't have to do expert mode in, uh, in order to get this one. You just have to do both easy and normal and then get an A ranking on all the uh, story missions as well. Now this next one here is Order of the Holy Lance. Uh, you get this one by just getting an A rank on any chapter after chapter 10. So again, if you've been following the walkthrough, should have this one at this point anyways. Uh, this medal here, this is Order of the Holy Shield. Uh, you get this one just by completing any mission after level 10 uh, without any unit going down. So you just have to do that once and uh, get this medal as well. Uh, so this last one, uh, this was one of the harder ones for me to get because uh, I guess I wasn't paying attention or something. So this is the Galleon Front Commemorative. You get this one by by just completing. You don't have to get an A rank, but you have to complete all chapters and reports. And the key is reports, and this is what threw me off. So on your second playthrough, um, I forget where it is exactly, but around level like 11 or, or 12, one of those chapters, um, a new report becomes available at the uh, Castle Front Street. Um, it's not a playable one, it's just a, a story one, and it takes place uh, prior to Chapter 9. It's, uh, it's actually Ellet running into Princess Cordelia and finding out, oh, she's a Darts, she's a Darkson. Um, it's like three or four videos, I forget. But until you buy that and watch all of them, this medal will not come to you. Uh, because you have to buy it and watch it. And then once you do that, then go see Cordelia and you'll finally get this medal. Literally, I played this game through like four times and I'm like, what am I missing here? Kept turning the pages through the chapter list, all that. Yeah, you, you have to get to a certain point and then visit Castle Front Street again. And there will be a 10th or 11th, 12th, whatever report available for purchase. And you'll have tons of money at this point because since you've bought every weapon and all your units are level 20, money and XP is pretty much worthless at this point. So you, you'll totally be able to buy it. So uh, you just have to get to, like I said, level or chapter 11 or 12, I forget which. So yeah, just want to go over that with you. Um, there's some lists online. Uh, you know, put this in word form, but just kind of wanted to give you a heads up uh, what to expect. But yeah, 100% completion that I've been talking about this entire time. This is what it is getting all 20 decorations. So, yeah, good luck to you.